Hello everyone and thanks for watching, this is Hadrian. Let's play some more Total War Rome 2 in the Roman Ascension campaign. We're going to fight this battle, the Battle of Ephesus, 20 AD. This time we're not going to fight it in the city. That, this was the second battle that I fought um, before I had to do a bit of a reboot um, on this series of battles because it, it was just it was too much, just too much. Too much slowdown on account of the way the Total War games are designed. It's a known issue, and it's sad. Sad, but true. All right, so we're gonna have... We'll set up some axes. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Alright. Where were you supposed to be? There. Alright, that's good enough. And start the battle. In battle, men, bravery is a good quality for a soldier. Enemy reinforcements approaching. That's all that's left of the Greeks. Reinforcements from the Seleucids are coming in from the back. Let's speed up time a bit. Those units are going to disappear and hide. Those are not. And they're going to pay the price. Now they're going to hide. Ooh. Goodbye. That was one hit right there. Right, stop firing, and now we wait for the Seleucids to arrive. The Seleucids who are back there. Slightly larger force, but less advanced force. Much less advanced. Am I facing them? Not really. Let's fix that. Looks about right. We have some alcoholics in the ranks. All right. 
it, so I'll tell them to fire at will. I'm going to use flammable rounds. The flammable rounds will reduce their morale as they get close. Alright, so there's the range that you need to see. This might be one of the largest land battles I've fought with the Seleucids yet. Seleucids, rather. This is a rain of fire. change their firing order slightly so that they will be impacted by be impacted really in all directions. Oh, there's a couple of direct hits there. They're getting torn apart by my artillery. This might be probably the most successful artillery barrage I've done in the Roman Ascension campaign. a lot of really good hits. I mean, look at look at the body count. out of ammo. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Units has used all its ammunition.
try and kill those cataphracts if I can. That's their strongest cavalry unit. The enemy general is dead. Good. Didn't even notice that. They had some other cataphracts on the other side. Our general is under attack. Good, they're losing. Oops. Still 13 of them. One of our units has used all its ammunition. to them. So now we've got our cavalry charging down the hill. that. One of our units has used all its ammunition. This has just been a slaughter. Let's continue the battle. Try and finish them off. their units are going to get away, but not all.
One guy. He's gone now. <laughs> wow. Praetorians are outrunning these guys, I think. Or maybe not. So we finished off the Greeks and did a great amount of damage to the people that are holding down uh, the fort at that uh, city we need to take. Ephesus. Slave the captives. Commander. Now we can conquer Ephesus pretty easily. Having completed that battle, we're going to auto resolve it. Ready for orders. Athens has been destroyed. Ephesus belongs to us. Now we just need to take control of roads. So let's do it. Let's see. We'll go ahead and fight the battle on the battlefield. I'll take over roads in the very next episode, and I hope you'll join me. Thank you for watching so far. If you have any feedback on the campaign, or if there's anything you'd like to see as the uh, Romans continue their march to unify the northern and southern edges of the empire, let me know. I'll be glad to uh, take it under advisement and maybe even add it to the campaign. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.